<coughs> excuse me. And we're gonna welcome Jennifer Tryon in now. Hi everybody. we've made candles. We've made all kinds of different things. We've made cards but and scrapbook what is pages. holidays without a Christmas stocking? We've stocking. got to start thinking about Christmas and I know you want to get creative during the holiday season. These are double-sided stockings. You can see, decorate them however you want in the cutest, cutest, trendiest, hip, cool, chic patterns. And I think these are great for hanging or let's say you put a bottle of wine in and gave it as a gift or just filled it and gave it as a gift, a handmade gift this holiday season. I mean, I know you're making cards this season. Why don't you stretch your creativity and try sewing these up? I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it with this kit. Oh, this is what box. you're gonna get, Alice, when you get it home. It's a big panel like this. And this is the pattern, okay? So you've got enough to make two double-sided stockings, or if you wanna make it stretch even further, you could do four and just put like a solid color on the back. On the back. And mm -hmm. so you're gonna get these, you're going to get the beautifully coordinated lining fabric so you can line your stocking up. Isn't, doesn't that match so, so nice? And I love that you don't have to go thinking about whether or not it coordinates. You know, sometimes you're at the fabric store and you're thinking, I don't know, what goes with what? This is all picked out for you. Plus you're getting the batting. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna start by cutting out the stockings, which essentially leaves you with two pieces like this. And you wanna add the batting to the back of those pieces. So it comes together very, very easily. I asked earlier, how much time do we have for this segment? And someone said eight minutes. So I'm gonna show you that you can, <laughs> in eight minutes, that you really can achieve a homemade stocking with this kit. So you wanna put double sides together and then this is where you wanna start embellishing, okay? This is where you wanna come in with your decorative stitches or with your pom-poms or with any of the things that Alice is gonna show you here while I take this over to the sewing machine. Mm -hmm. You can do it with ribbon, you can do it with all kinds of little sequins, little sparkly things if you wanna add that bling. So you can do lots of different things with it. Listen, it's a this day only price of $24.95. We only have 700 of these to go around. And don't forget, with that five flex payment, it's $4.99. And you're working on the uh, Genome. Uh, this is the machine. Genomi, mm -hmm. um, Genomi I'm sorry. Mod 100Q. And that means it's a machine that comes with tons of accessories for quilting. If you're new to sewing, it's gonna give you all of these amazing decorative stitches. So look what I've just put in here is this amazing line of, let me find the camera here, is this cute, cute line of decorative stitches just along the seam here. I love being able to add embellishments like this. And now if your old sewing machine that you've got tucked in your closet doesn't offer you 100 stitches, well, hey, it's still good. Still pull it out and use it. But if you're looking to upgrade, this is a beautiful, easy to use, fully computerized machine that I know you'll get you'll pass this machine on. It's so, it's so amazing. So you wanna go right sides together and then you're gonna sew all the way around the stocking, right sides together, okay? And then once you get the right sides together and you've sewn all the way around, you wanna do exactly the same thing with the lining. You're gonna go right sides together and sew all the way around. And essentially you're gonna be left with, through the magic of TV, a stocking, okay, and a lining. And then I want you to stuff the right, we're always talking about right sides together and it's true for this too. You're gonna stuff it all the way down in and then what I want you to do is sew around the cuff of the boot. Now, when you're doing your lining, you're gonna leave a little space here so that you can turn it inside out. So you're gonna bring this part to your sewing machine and you're just gonna sew all the way around. And that's gonna give you a nice, nice finish on the cuff of your boot. And remember, you're getting everything you need in mm -hmm. the kit here. So whether you're a beginner or whether you're just someone who wants to get back into sewing or you're already a sewer, this is the kind of project you can whip up in less than an hour and have major, major impact. And you know, it's so nice to, ha to hang handmade stockings at Christmas and not have to worry about going and shopping for fabric and getting the right yardage. Everything is coming to you in the kit. So you're getting enough for two stocking, two double-sided stockings, or you can make four stockings if you wanna put just a plain piece of fabric on the back. So once you've got this totally sewed around, mm -hmm. 
you're gonna do the big reveal, which is basically to turn it right side out. You ready? Ready. Oh, other way, other way, Jen. And then this is gonna be fully lined. Once you sew those two cuffs together, you're gonna have a fully lined stocking, perfect for treats, for kids, perfect for a wine bottle, for a gift. Let's go. I love the idea of being able to personalize these, put people's names on them, the kids' love names, uh, the love dog's that. names. I, I don't know if you hang a stocking for your dog like we do at my house. <laughs> Bella gets her own. Well, now <laughs> she'll have one. Exactly. So this is going to make two complete stockings, or if you want to, again, you could put the fabric on one side and then just something simple on the other, or add your own fabric. It doesn't matter. And look at that. It's look basically just thinking of a, of a few things, which is right sides together and making sure that you're um, a sewing all the way around the seams. And if we look at the actual um, pattern, so if we look down on the table here, you'll see the seam allowance is here in the pattern. This is the guide that you're gonna sew all the way around. So if you're a beginner and you're thinking, oh, but I don't really know where to sew or how to sew, this guide is going to help you. This, if you cut around this teal edge and then you sew along the picture edge, you know you're gonna have a perfect stocking every single time. And I guarantee you, when you're done with this project, you will know how to make stockings for life and you'll be hanging them up or giving them as gifts year after year, it will become a tradition, just like hanging the advent calendar. I see you guys panning down those beautiful advent mm -hmm. calendars. And we have this available for you as well. These are so precious, oh my gosh. This is another yeah. kit, just like the mm -hmm. stockings, gonna come to you like this. See all those pieces? It comes like this. And it's gonna be your job to cut out the little pieces and this is perfect for a beginner sewer who wants a project that's not gonna be too difficult, but that's going to you know, help them you know, with their sewing skills. You know, a really achievable sewing project because it's just straight line sewing. And then you're going to add it right onto this backing, right onto the backing, and then you're left with a beautiful advent calendar that you're going to use year after year and stuff with little treats. And you know what, there's nothing my kids look forward to more oh, no. than the first day of December mm -hmm. when finally we can bring out the advent calendar. And wouldn't you like to make one together this year? Yes. And, and have it be something that you save and bring out year after year. Jennifer, thank you so much. You're welcome. This was so 